Let us discuss economic importance of fungi. Fungi is a unicellular eukaryotic organism which has both positive and negative roles in our daily life. So that's why we call them as our friends as well as enemies. What are the useful points of fungi? First thing, fungi is used as a decomposer of waste. Many saprophytic fungi, saprophytic fungi is that fungi which decompose on dead and decaying matter. It decomposes plant and animal debris and continuously remove it from the man's environment. The second thing, what happens during when it is decomposing this uh, uh, animal and uh, plant waste? During this process, they liberate a large amount of carbon dioxide. And this carbon dioxide, it can be used by green plants so as to carry on photosynthesis. Also, decomposition of organic waste, it results in formation of humus, which is needed for growth of plants. Mycorrhiza, mycorrhiza is an association of fungi and the roots of higher plants. What happens when this association of fungi and roots takes place? The, actually, we call this mycorrhiza as a fungal roots because mycorrhizal roots, they lack root hairs and this association between a fungus and between the roots of a higher plant, it helps in the absorption of large number of nutrients. The mycorrhizal roots are generally resistant to infection. Many types of fungi, they can be used as an edible fungi. What are the various species of fungi which can be used as a food? These include mushrooms, puff balls, morels or gucci and various other species which can be used as a food. Though the food content is not high in this edible fungi, but still they are rich in vitamins and also they are delicious in taste. These are the few types of fungi which can be used as a food. One is Cattrella sibaricus, Morchella asculenta, other categories Boletus adulis and Lycopodon, Agaricus campestris, which is another type of mushroom which is used as an edible food. The common mushroom which is Agaricus campestris, it is actually cultivated in various areas of South India, Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and they are used to grow on compost bed in mushroom houses. So they are edible. But there are some categories of mushroom which are actually deadly, which are fatal and poisonous. These categories include Amentia muscaris, Boletus satinus, and Tolma lividium, and Rasula sp. This, these are the categories of those mushrooms which are actually fatal and these cause death if consumed. So therefore, we call them death cups or we call them destroying angels. The edible species of mushrooms which are whereas the poisonous ones are known as toadstools. The edible which can be consumed as a food, they we call the mushrooms and those categories of mushrooms which are not edible, which are poisonous, we call them death cups, destroying angels and we also call, call them uh, toadstools. This is uh, Amentia muscaris and moving on to next category which is also harmful, which is also fatal, Boletus satinus, this is how it looks like and Entolma lividium which is also fatal and poisonous. This is Drusilla, which is again a poisonous mushroom. So what are the other uses of fungi? Fungi can be used to synthesize many medicines and many antibiotics and these antibiotics can be used to increase blood pressure, control uterine hemorrhage and in many other uterine disturbances. Various antibiotics which can be synthesized by fungi, these include uh, streptomycin and other. And what is an antibiotic? Antibiotic is any substance which is actually produced by a microorganisms. And these antibiotics reduce or inhibit the growth of other microorganisms. So this is what an antibiotic actually does. These are some of the antibiotics which are synthesized from the fungi. These antibiotics include penicillin, grisofulvin, cephalosporin, juvarin and calvicin. So these are few antibiotics which are actually synthesized by fungi. So fungi, they are also rich source of vitamins. Vitamin B complex which is obtained from yeast. Other vitamins which are obtained from yeast and molds, yeast and molds come in the category of fungi itself. These include vitamin D, riboflamine and ergosterol. Various industrial uses of fungi include, they are used in the industries for the production of various products. One is the alcoholic fermentation. The alcoholic fermentation includes the synthesis of wine and beer which are the fermentation products which are synthesized by the activity of species of yeast which is a saccharomyces. Saccharomyces is used to synthesize or to uh, uh, in the use in the production of wine and beer. Wine is made from juice of grapes and other fruits by alloying yeast which is saccharomyces to induce alcoholic fermentation. So it, uh, it undergoes a process which is known as alcoholic fermentation. This fermentation products leads to synthesis of or the production of wine which contains 10 to 12 percent of alcohol. Beer which is made from barley grains, the starch of grain is first converted to fermentable sugars, maltose and glucose and the process of conversion is known as malting. Then it is fermented by special strains of saccharomyces and this 
uh, beer it contains 3 to 8 percent of alcohol other brands which include whiskey brandy rum and these are are the distilled alcoholic beverages whiskey which is distilled from the fermented menses of uh, cereals or potatoes and it contains a 50 percent amount of alcohol and similarly other categories of alcohol which is produced by synthesis or by the fermentation process which includes special strain which is a saccharomyces these are some other industrial products which were actually known to be synthesized by various fungi which is citric acid oxalic acid itaconic acid and causic acid so these are the various products which are synthesized by various organisms citric acid is synthesized by pancelium and asparagus oxalic acid by asparagus itaconic acid again by asparagus but uh, other species and causic acid by asparagus or easy so these are few strains or few species of fungi which are used to synthesize various industrial products Again, the fungi can be used to synthesize various enzymes and these enzymes include protease, invertase, maltase, catalase, cellulase, amylase which all are used in the various metabolic processes of human beings as well as other mammals and other animals. So these enzymes are synthesized or produced by fungi. Maltase and amylase which are obtained from this species which is mucoroxy, rhizopus, gepokinus and asparagus. So these are the various strains of species which are actually known, known to synthesize maltose and amylase. Glucose oxidase it is obtained from pancelium. Pactinase protease catalase they are obtained from asparagus and invertase it is obtained from yeast so these are various categories of enzymes which are known to be synthesized by fungi